We don't know who's going to start a quarterback for UCF this season, but we do know it will be Jordan Johnson's job to protect them. The Knights offensive lineman is also taking steps to protect his own health, including switching to a vegan diet. Christian Brewey got the 300 pound lineman in the kitchen to get a taste of that lifestyle. So, Jordan, we're going to make some Caesar-style quinoa burgers. You said you've had quinoa before, but not a quinoa burger. Yes, sir. I've had quinoa, and I think quinoa is delicious, but I've never had it in a burger before. OK, we'll, we'll try something new then today. Tell me, though, first, before we get all this started, how did you become vegan, or who first introduced you to that? So my older brother has a lot of influence on me, yeah. being my older brother. And um, he's in the NFL right now, and he went vegan. And he was telling me about it, influencing me a lot, telling me all the benefits of it and stuff. And I was like, bro, you're crazy. Like, I'm never going to go vegan. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> like, but um, I told him that I would try being a vegetarian. And I tried ve being a vegetarian for a week. And once I did it for a week and I stuck with it, I wanted to see how long I could stick with it. And then once I stuck with it for a while, I decided that I wanted to go vegan because it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And but I, you're 320, right? I was 320. Okay, what are you now? But I'm like 295, 300 right okay, now. Okay, that's the range you stay in? Yes. And how do you keep that weight up with, I think everyone wants to know, how do you keep that weight up when you're not eating meat that has that protein and that stuff? Um, simply eating a lot. You know, so how long has it been that you've been a vegan? Since the new year. So I went vegetarian before the last season, before um, like in July, the end of June, beginning of July, mm -hmm. I went vegetarian. And then as my New Year's resolution, I decided to go vegan. So ever since the new year started, I've been vegan. OK. And has it been tough? Um, no, it's been really easy, especially with the new, um, the new nutrition center that they have put in for us. What does this offense look like from what you've seen through the spring with either Brandon or, you know, maybe another quarterback back there? Um, just know that we're going to be fast, and that's, that's all that there is to it. We, um, we plan to go faster than we've ever been before, mainly because just like before, when a new guy comes in, you, you, have, to, you have to get acclimated to things. For you, you're an offensive lineman. Are there certain goals you set, or, hey, hey, you know, last year you set the UCF rushing all-time record. Is that something you hope to achieve, or is there a certain amount of pancake blocks? Or for an offensive lineman, take me into that, because we know what the wide receivers and the running backs and the quarterbacks want to do. Um, of course, you want to have a lot of pancakes. That's, <laughs> that's what we do. But um, our main thing is to keep the quarterback's jersey clean and no sex. That is the always the goal going into every game. You look at the schedule, you hear everyone talking about, oh, UCF doesn't belong in the playoff. Is that a chip on all your guys' shoulders? Definitely. And then, like I said, we try not to um, look at the, the destination yeah, or like, yeah. we try not to think about the outside noise. But the main thing is focusing on us, not worrying about what other people say, because we know that you put us on the field with just about anybody and we can play against them. Jordan? Cheers. <laughs> bon appetit. That's it right now. <laughs>